Come on, Jackie. Only kids like you have to be brave, because they have no big brothers or big sisters to protect them. Daddy's words repeated in my head, and I swallowed before trying again. My feet shook as they made their way up the creaky wooden steps. A layer of fog rolled and twirled around my legs, illuminated by orange lights that shone from fires held within devil faces. One step howled loudly, catching me off guard and forcing me to hurry back down to the safety of the stone path below. Though, it wasn't too much better down here. There were wispy skeletons moving about, and when one reached for me, I was hurried back onto the steps. This time, my climb was greeted by a door opening. There was no bright, welcoming light that rushed to escape into the night. Rather, only tiny little bulbs of purple and green and orange shone within the darkness, and nothing more. Only when the shadow hurried forth did I scream and stumble back yet again, my suspense broken by the approaching figure. Well, hello there. The creature spoke. My lip quivered, and I was unable to respond. Its pale white face shook me deeply, standing out entirely on its own from the large black cloak it wore. What do you say? T -t -t was all I could muster before running from the house. A pair of arms interrupted my escape, quickly grabbing my fairy princess dress and hoisting me upwards. There, there, Jackie. Uncle Hugh whispered, rubbing my back slowly as I cried out. Tears ran down my frightened face for the millionth time tonight, ruining any remaining makeup Mommy had put on. Uncle Hugh then did something that made me freeze up in terror. He called out to the monster. Do you think you could come out here? She's a little frightened. My heart started to race rapidly as I heard footsteps clicking along the pathway behind me. I thrust my eyes into my uncle's shoulder, trying to hide from the beast. But when he told me to look, I was turned around to meet it once more. My cries echoed through the neighborhood once again as the monster laughed, its pearly white fangs matching perfectly with its face. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, I'm sorry, dearie. Here, have some extra for being such a brave little girl. The monster then stretched out the opening of my bag and dumped in two big chocolate bars and a bag of chips. What do you say, Jackie? Uncle Hugh asked. Th thank you, I mumbled before hiding my face again. I knew the candy was free, but having to approach these terrifying monsters to get it was just too much. At least there were only a few houses left. Uncle Hugh set me down beside the car and opened the door for me to get in. Daddy was still sleeping in the back seat. I couldn't wait to show him all the candy I'd gotten when he woke up. Uncle Hugh told me not to disturb him right now, though, or else he might get angry. After I was buckled in and the car started to move, I began thinking about what Daddy had told me about being brave. It seemed odd now, considering how Uncle Hugh was here taking me out trick-or-treating. After all... I always thought Daddy taught me that phrase because he was an only child, too.